In this video, we're going to take a look at the use of tags inside of the Bulma CSS framework. So let's start off by making our first tag just to see what it looks like inside of the browser. So if we had a span with the class of tag, and inside of this tag was simply my first tag. As you can see, here it appears on screen. And now we can go through and add a variety of different colors. So similar to our buttons, we can also add things like is black. We can add is dark. Is light. Is white. And then we can go for more colorful tags. If we do the same, but this time we use things like is primary, is info, is success, is warning, and finally is danger. So here we have a variety of different colored tags. But we're not limited to this, we can actually change the sizes of these tags as well. So let's have a look at different sizes. I'm going to take the first two here, and we're also going to add is medium and is large. So here we have our two tags here. The first one is medium is slightly bigger than the normal tag. And of course, the is large is massively bigger than the normal tag. We can also append things like a delete button. So let's do that. Append delete button. And in order to do that, we would take our standard tag. And the only thing we'd need to do is simply add a button with the class of delete. And if we save our file, we can see that our tag now has this button. The user can click it. And once again, we can select a variety of different sizes. We can also add different sizes to our tags with buttons. So if we made our second tag have the button once again, but we added is large to the tag. You can see that we now have a tag that is large, but also includes a button. So that's how we can add small tag labels inside of our Bulma CSS applications.